guys, it's Amber. Welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I post book and home fragrance content. And today I am here to my pick my October TBR. I have my little uh, bucket filled with all the different books that are on my bookcase right here. And I'm, I'm ready. I have so many really good like fall cozy atmospheric type of books to get into so i'm super super excited so let me spin the wheel um let me hit screen record though so we can all see what it is i get so let's do this okay three two one spin Let's see. I got four, yes! Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy, especially with how September's TBR was nine books. So this will give me some wiggle room uh, to read, to mood read more, plus finish my official TBR for the month of October. Uh, so I am reading a, or rereading because I have read this in the past. I'm rereading Assistant to the Villain for um, the Homey and Homely book club that is October's pick. So I'm excited to read that again so I can get refreshed and ready for the second book. But other than that, I don't have any real like set plans. So let's see what we got going on in here and what books we're going to get. So let's see, four books, and then I can mood read all the others. Okay, the love of my afterlife. We're off to a good start because this it just came in and it is a newer book. This is by Kirsty Greenwood so cute. I've, I've heard it's really cute and perfect for October for sure. So this is a recently deceased woman meets the one in the afterlife waiting room scoring a second chance at life and love if she can find him on earth before 10 days are up. Um, so I haven't posted it yet, but I did do a library, uh, what's in the book bag library hall. And this was one of the books. So now you know already that, <laughs> that this is in that. So I'm excited. Yay. Okay. So that's book one. Let's see what the next one is. Okay. Anatomy. I am a little nervous to read this one. Hopefully it's not. I've heard, you know, there's like medical horror kind of stuff in it so I think it'll be okay I've heard really good things about it so anatomy a love story this is by Dana Schwartz and it is YA so I don't think it'll be too too graphic um but it perfect for October so this is about a girl named what is her name Hazel and she wants to be a surgeon but she lives in Victorian England times uh, or in Scotland, actually, I think is where she lives. Um, and she wants to be a surgeon, but of course, during that time, women didn't have that choice for the most part. And so it's about her trying to learn to be a surgeon, and she does end up um, being involved, or ends up being involved, I don't know if from the beginning, but a guy named Jack, who is a resurrection man, meaning he digs up bodies for people to, um, you know, do autopsies on, that sort of thing. So this will be perfect for October, that's for sure. Okay, two more. Let's see. Okay, dreadful. I am so feeling all the October vibes so far with these choices for sure so dreadful this is by caitlin rosakis and this one okay let me read it because i don't 
remember it's had it's bad enough waking up in a half destroyed evil wizard's workshop with no eyebrows no memories and no idea how long you have before the dread lord whomever shows up to murder you horribly and then turn your skull into a goblet or something it's a lot worse when you realize that dread lord whomever is you <laughs> so this looks like it will be quirky and fun and another perfect for October read. So, all right, one more. Let's see. I am so, so happy <laughs> so far. Okay, what is this one? All right, bring me your midnight is the fourth choice. And where is that one? All right, bring me your midnight. This is by Rachel Griffin. And I know this is like a witchy book. So seriously, I am so happy with my TBR this time around. And look, it has a map. Any book that has a map is always a good sign in my eyes. So this is Tana Fairchild's fate has never been in question. Her life has been planned out since the moment she was born. She is to marry the governor's son, Landon, and secure the unprecedented alliance between the witches of her island home and the mainlanders who see her existence as a threat. Tana's coven has appeased those who fear their power for years by releasing most of their magic into the ocean during the full moon. But when Tana misses the midnight ritual, a fatal mistake, there is no one she can turn to for help until she meets Wolf. Wolf claims he is from a coven that practices dark magic, making him one of the only people who can help her. But he refuses to let Tana's power rush into the sea and instead teaches her his forbidden magic, a magic that makes her feel powerful, alive. As the sea grows more violent, her coven loses control of it, the currents, a danger that could destroy the Alliance as well as her island. Tana will have to choose between love and duty, between loyalty to her people and loyalty to her heart. Marrying Landed would secure peace for her coven but losing Wolf and his wild magic could cost her everything. So, did I say, yeah, Rachel Griffin. That seems like it'll be fun. So, yay, you guys, this is a great TBR, and this will give me time to read Assistant to the Villain too, and do some mood reading. I know I wanna get to Foxglove because I have the third book on request at the library and I do want to read the second in the um, Shepherd King duology to Tr Twisted Crowns. So I'm very, very happy that this TBR was a smaller one this time around. So we have The Love of My Afterlife, which is a cute little romance. Then we have Anatomy, a love story, which is a YA love story, but like a gothic type of love story. And then we have Dreadful, which is a fiction, fantasy, humorous book, it sounds like. And then we have Bring Me Your Wit Midnight, which is a fantasy um, about witches. So very, very excited. So that's it, you guys. Those are my picks for the month of October. Let me know down in the comments what you plan on reading for this spooky month. I cannot believe we are in October already. It's crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. So thank you guys for spending some time with me. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And until next time, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.